What's up, guys? This is Matt Buchanan with Sapskin Boards. Um, today, I wanted to compare two boards that are very popular that I've written both of them, and I really like both of them, but they're different in certain ways. So, I just wanted to make a video about them. Um, this is the Fuse X 5 8 tapered rails. Custom, you know, you have to customize your board to be able to get the 5 8 and the tapered rails, but the shape. Um, is the Fuse X, and then we have the Ampex shape with also taper rails, 5 eighths, and also there's a little bit of added rock on each one, so, but yeah, um, so yeah, I, I haven't ridden this one yet, but I have ridden a 5 eighths Fuse X, um, like it, and I can kind of imagine what that board is going to be like, um, I'm right, right now I'm injured, um, I would be at the Outer Banks contest right now, but I'm just hanging out, trying to heal up, been out for like a month, been, uh, it's been a little rough, but it's alright. Um, I've never been away from Team Warrior for that long. But anyway, so we have a Fuse X and we have a, we have a Ampex. Ampex on your left, Fuse X on your right. So the Fuse X, um, the Fuse X is more of kind of like a, it's more of like an all around board that's kind of good for everything. Um, you can do, you know, it's good for everything. It's good for tricks, airs. Um, from my experience, um, I haven't ridden one with tapered rails yet. I rode one with I rode a five eighths with five eighths boxy rails. But from what I can imagine, this board is going to be the better of the two for me. So for my riding style, I think I'm going to shine more on the Fuse X with the five eighths tapered rails rather than the Ampex with the five eighths tapered rails. Now, the main difference between these two is what you're going to notice in the nose and the tail. So I don't know if you can, sorry, I should have this. Um, I don't know if you can see the difference in it, but um, hopefully you can. So basically we have a pin tail. I can get it a little bit. Maybe that'll work better. So basically what we have here is that we have a, we have a squash, a little squash tail compared to a pin tail. And you don't think that really makes a big difference, but it actually makes a pretty big difference. So, from what I noticed with the squash tail is that it was a little bit more controlled in the pocket, and it was a little bit better with tricks, actually. I think it was a little bit better with tricks. You could, because uh, you throw your shovets off your tail, and I think that had, you know, it benefited it a little bit. Um, and then obviously we have the nose, um, which is the nose on the Ampex right here. So the nose on the Ampex is um, narrower work. So that's going to actually give the board a lot more speed. Like if you go to the bio for uh, if you go to the bio for each of these skin boards, what you're going to see is that they say that the Ampex is way faster, and that is very true. The Ampex is really fast, and like. Uh, it's definitely because of the shape. It's a little bit narrower board, um, and what I've noticed is just it's fast. I mean, you can just get so much speed off of it. It's uh, the nose on it is narrower and not as wide as the uh, the fuse, and that just gives it a lot of speed. I mean, on the wave or not, you're going to be going pretty pretty quick. Um, and then the fuse X is going to be more of like a. It's going to be better for wraps. Um, the Fuse X is going to be pretty much dialed on everything. It's going to be a very good all-around board. So say you're skimming, um, you know, a lot of professionals nowadays ride, a, you know, a hybrid or like a poly S or just like the standard skim board. That's kind of what the Fuse X is. And it's, uh, it's a little bit different. It has a little bit, um, you know, the, the, what you'll notice is the nose is a little pretty round and that's actually going to give you a little bit more stability. Um, you know the fuse X, the Ampex is going to be pretty challenging, um, just because you're going to be going. You got to be really comfortable on a skimboard because you're going to be going really fast. Um, you're going to be able to get far out as well with both of these, just because this has more float, but this has more speed. So they kind of just they kind of any they kind of just cancel each other out in a way. Um, but yeah, I mean. I'm gonna say that this is gonna be my choice of board between the two. I did really enjoy the Ampex, and I think if you've never ridden one, you should definitely try it out um, because it's just 
a really fun board. I mean, you just go really fast, and it's pretty fun to experience that. So, um, you know, the reason I got a new one is just because, um, you know, I was doing, I did a huge air on the Ampex, and I ended up landing on the rail side, and it just kind of indented, it, it kind of broke the foam a little bit, and then from skimming on it even more, it just completely broke the foam. So I had to, luckily, you know, I'm fortunate enough that Zap would send me a, uh, another board and you know that just goes to show the kind of skimboarding company that Zap is and just they really do support their riders a lot and I'm pretty blessed to be on the team with everybody but uh yeah I'm definitely gonna say that the main differences between the two is more speed um a little bit less of a yeah, a little bit more control with the tail and a little bit and a more speed. It's a really good combination to be honest with you. It's a great board. I just don't think it really fit. Um, you know, I kind of wanted to just try something new anyway, but I don't really think it really was fitting my my uh, wave riding. I really want to get good at in the barrel and just riding waves and getting, you know, I want to travel more, so I'm going to be skimboarding bigger waves. And as good as that board is, I. I do think that this one's going to benefit me more just because I got more rocker on this board as well as it just being an all-around good board for bigger waves. Um, I do think the Ampex is good for big waves, but it's just you don't have a lot of stability with it being narrow. It's going to be focused more towards speed. So if you're a high performance kind of person and you want to get the most speed out of waves and yourself, um, you know, if you're a speed demon, that board's for you, um, honestly, and if you're more of just kind of like a all, you want to be good at kind of everything, you kind of have like the, kind of the, you have the tricks, and you have the wave riding, and you have the airs, and all that, then a hybrid, or a, you know, the hybrid, more hybrid shape, I guess, you know, kind of like the all-around fuse of everything together, the fuse X is going to be your, your board, so, uh, I hope that helped a little bit. But yeah, I'd say pintail, squash tail, narrower nose, wider nose. Um, so, you know, more float, more speed, um, better on wraps, better in, in the wave, better on the wave, and more speed down the line, better for siders. Um, you're going to be able to get a lot of speed. That's what that board's focused on. And not that it's bad with any with tricks or wraps, that's really going to come down to your ability, but I will say that the Fuse X is going to be pretty dialed in on wraps. It's really going to put you in the pocket, and it's really going to keep you on the wave. And then you have the regular, you know, it's good with tricks and it's good with air, so it's just all around good board. I won't say that one is really better than the other. It really depends on your style and how you want to approach skimboarding. So, again, you can approach skimboarding differently with each board. If you want to go full force, aggressive, you know, uh, speed, it's going to be the amp. If you want to have more of an all-around kind of dynamic um, and just that board that's good for all conditions and pretty much everything, then the Fuse X is going to be for you. So, hope that helped you guys.